Tonight, a racist text scandal uncovered within the San Jose Police Department. An officer who was being investigated after a high-profile shooting allegedly sent hateful texts about black people. Now, it all stems from a shooting last year inside La Victoria Taqueria. Kawan Green had disarmed a gunman inside and was backing out with the gun when Officer Mark McNamara shot him four times. Green is suing the city. San Jose police say a separate criminal investigation into one of its officers revealed that McNamara had exchanged racist texts with another officer, which included referring to Green using the N-word and other disparaging statements about black people. McNamara, who has been with the force for six years, has resigned, and the other officer he was texting with is now on leave. Police Chief Anthony Mata said in a statement, there is zero tolerance for racial bias in the department. We did ask them this evening to talk to us on camera, but they declined. San Jose's mayor did speak with us tonight, though, and he said that the city would work to make sure all employees are held accountable. I speak with our police chief almost daily. We've, we've been in discussion, obviously, the last day and a half on, on this matter and will continue to be. And as you know, there, there is an ongoing investigation going on. And if additional information comes to light, we're going to do exactly what the chief did today, which is release that information to the public in the spirit of full transparency as soon as we are legally allowed to. Reverend Jethro Moore II of the San Jose chapter of the NAACP says he's had ongoing talks with the city's police chief about how to make sure the black community in San Jose feels safe. And my conversations I'll be having with Chief Mata in the coming days uh, is how we can um, vet our officers to assure the community that we're going to rid any officer that has a racist tendency toward anybody that's a member of the San Jose, Santa Clara County Police Departments. The union that represents San Jose cops also issued a statement that said, in part, this behavior is unacceptable and we condemn it in the strongest possible terms.